I'm Nige. And I'm Anders. Welcome to the review. Uh, we're taking steps to discover the world of tea. Um, so, Nige, pray, what are we doing today? Well, what we're doing at the moment is looking for brands you can find in everyday supermarkets. None of your weird stuff. We're just looking mainstream tea at the moment. And we've got two teas. We're going to put them up against one another. We've got PG Tips, which we mm -hmm. did the other week. And we're doing, put it up against Tetley's. Tetley. Yes, Tetley. Tetley Original. Tetley, which is a, is another tea that I've come across in workplaces. Yes, yeah. I, I, but everyone's I had remember. these. But... I've never, ever stopped to really savour and taste. I usually just make a brew with whatever's there. I never, you just don't think about it. No, you don't. The no. Oh, there's uh, a bag. Bung it in. That's what I suspect doing. most people's purchasing uh, is probably based on marketing. Marketing. And... These are all recognisable brands and they yeah, spend they a lot of money on the telly. Yeah, they do. Uh, advertising um cost will come into it as well i dare say but also when you're looking at tea yeah well i mean pg and tetley i think they're about the same price There's not there wasn't much between them in the supermarket no true there wasn't no. that for 40 bags anyway the port tetley uh suggested two to three minutes so we've mm -hmm. gone with two minutes because pg suggests manufacturer's instructions one to two minutes so we've gone for two and that so no, they've both two had two minutes. Each. yeah absolutely a little bit of a grumble with ten please no brewing instructions on the packet we had to None. go to the website we to for the Google. optimal amount yeah <laughs> but we, we found to. it yeah we did anyway no milking yet quick quick sniff oh yes okay Well, I think if I had to bet my life on it, the Tetley is stronger, has a stronger aroma. I think, because uh, I'm, again, all milked up. Right, I'm just Tetley putting milk in there. reminds me very much of the Yorkshire tea. Oh, we had the other, yeah, yeah, yeah. The other day, yeah. So I'm just, me milk's added now. Okay, have a sniff. Yeah, it does. It doesn't, not as strong as the Yorkshire, I don't think. No, but. Anyway, well, as, as you say, Anders, chin chin. Chin chin, indeed. Which one have you gone for first? Sorry, I've gone for Tetley first. Oh, I've gone for PG. Well, you know, that's all, that's fine. So, so, what's it like, Anders? What's it like? It had the aroma of. Yorkshire tea, but it doesn't have the same uniformity, the kind of the levelness. You thought it would. Do you see what I'm saying? I'd like to talk about graphic equalizers. Do you remember in the olden days you had the stereo and you had the big graphic equalizer? You could put bits up. Your cup of tea is like that with the, the flavour. I think, I oh know we haven't got Yorkshire tea today. We did that the other last session mm. but i think pg tips you got most things are quite level and there's a couple of bits down in the middle you get that yeah. little bit of wateriness okay yeah technically i think it's pretty much everything's just it's balanced it's there there's nothing going, ooh, ooh. yeah no, 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 I'd tell a lie. There is a little bump in the middle with the, the tannins on the back end, I think. But I think that's a very, very enjoyable cuppa. Certainly. Yeah. Now, when we started this, I didn't think I'd, I think all, I thought all the tea would just taste the same. <laughs> yeah, I know. But uh, I'm quite surprised the differences I'm, I'm finding. It's quite apparent over a couple of episodes that we are becoming quite the experts. Yes, professional tea, tea drinkers. Yeah. Well, like I said, I do it for a living anyway, but I never pay attention. I just plug it. 
the Tetley's oh, the Tetley's a lot closer to the PG tips. Yeah, but I, there I, is I, just a slight tweak in there. The wateriness. Now, if I remember from the PG tips, as you got down, it got smoother and it got nicer as it went down. So, yeah, chatting a bit. So we took a bit of time out there and chugged on it. We had a conversation about temperature, didn't we? Yeah, well, I think there's an optimum. Well, you've got to have it boiling to start with. with Obviously, with, yeah. Uh, but it's when you're you're drinking it, when it gets to a certain below a certain temperature, it's I go off tea a little bit. Yeah, if it gets a bit too cold, and but, and there's that optimum temperature where you, it goes and you go, oh, I've hit the sweet spot. Yes, oh. absolutely. You've hit the middle of the cricket bat. Anyway, PG tips on finding. And last week, last one, I enjoyed this. <laughs> yeah, it, you did. You, it, it was, um, it came I think behind, it might be it? rather, I didn't like the Yorkshire tea as much. No, that's probably what, but anyway, the Tetley, I think, is gorgeous. The Tetley, uh, is, I think, is better than the PG tips. I think yes. we can both agree on that. Um, do you know what? We've reached a conclusion without even thinking about reaching a conclusion. No, I think it's yeah. Tetley versus PG Tips. Tetley, Tetley wins. wins. Two nil. Thanks for watching this episode of PG versus Tetley. We'll see you next time for a another bout. Until yes, then, another brew. Yeah. See you next time. Bye bye. bye.